Hello grade three, how are you? Okay, today we are going to practice our countable nouns. Every class now we will practice our six countable foods. We will practice our six uncountable foods. Remember those? Our meat and dairy words. Then I want to look at more uncountable nouns and work out how can we count them? If you, if you cannot count them, how can we tell people how many we have? We'll find out how to do that today. And then we will look at the workbook. That will be your homework, okay? That will be your homework, the workbook. So today you will need your workbook, a pencil, an eraser for your workbook, and for this class, your headphones, if you have them, okay? That's it. Let's learn about some uncountable nouns and how we can count them. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's start with our normal practicing. Can you remember the countable nouns, the food? Let's go. What's this? Come on, this should be easy now. Pumpkin. Okay, the yellow one. Lemon. How about these little countable foods? Mushroom. There are two mushrooms. This one. Cucumber. There are two cucumbers. Oh, this one's easy. You should all know this one now. Grapes. These are green grapes. And this big one. Watermelon, watermelon. So these are countable nouns. If there are two or more, we must put S at the end of the word. Pumpkins, lemons, mushrooms, cucumbers, green grapes, red grapes, purple grapes, watermelons. Okay, so here are our six uncountable nouns. Nah, me die, you cannot count them. We have meat and dairy, and we remember that dairy is anything made from milk. What's this one? Can you remember? Mm, yummy. Ham. What are these? Now, these are special. These you can count, but we add a sound to the word if there are two or more. Remember? What are they? They are sausages. But if there is one, it is one sausage, sausages, sausages. And this one, mm, I'm so hungry. What is this? It's bacon. Yes, it is bacon. OK, what about the dairy? Mm, what's this? Butter. This one? Oh, I, I am hungry now. This is cheese. And the last one, yogurt. Did you get all of these? Can you remember these now? Great. OK, so how do we talk about uncountable nouns? I think this is something you need to look at, maybe learn some new words. So we cannot count milk. Milk is an uncountable noun. Try to say how many milk is in this picture. How many milk? Can you tell me? How many? How many? How many milk? You cannot count milk. It is a liquid. You cannot count liquid when it is not in a container, when it is not in something. OK, so how do we count uncountable things? Hmm, interesting. So for uncountable nouns, we must say where they are or what they look like. Then we can start to think about counting parts of an uncountable noun or the thing that they are in or on. Let, let me show you. Now here is milk. Milk is an uncountable noun. But this is a glass of milk, a glass 
of milk. A glass. What's glass? Gale. A glass of milk. And this is a bottle of milk. Kuat. A bottle of milk. Now we have a in these sentences. There it is. A. And we know that A is one. A glass of milk. One glass of milk. A bottle of milk. One bottle of milk. Now we can start to count our uncountable nouns by what they are in. Okay. Nung gel, nung kuat. A glass of milk. A bottle of water. Two glasses of milk. Five bottles of milk. See? Do you understand? Now we can start to count these uncountable nouns, but we must put them in something, that's where they are, or we must talk about what they look like. So here's yogurt. Where is the yogurt? Where is it? What is this? white plastic thing that the yogurt is in. It's a pot, a pot, a pot of yogurt, a pot of yogurt, two pots of yogurt, 20 pots of yogurt. Now we can count it. Okay. Butter. Now, how do we count butter? Well, we have a stick of butter, a stick of butter. That is the block, all of it. We call it a stick. And we can even make it smaller. If we cut the butter with a knife, then we have a knob of butter, a knob of butter. Now we can count butter. Here's cheese. Mm, this cheese looks very nice. Cheese. How do we count cheese if we cannot count cheese? <laughs> Let's see. So we have a wheel of cheese. A wheel of cheese. That's what we call the big circle that is made of cheese. A wheel of cheese. A one. You might have five. You might have ten. But now we can talk about how it looks a wheel of cheese and look we can cut the wheel to make it smaller like a pizza pizza is the same and we have a slice of cheese a slice of pizza they are the same okay a slice of cheese and the big one is a wheel of cheese now we can count ah ah is one OK. OK, so let's look at some other uncountable nouns that we mentioned, we talked about when we first started Unit 3. Do you remember in our Just for Fun lesson? So how do we count water? Well, we have a bottle of water. We can have a glass of water. And we can even have a jug of water. What about if there is a lot of water on the ground? Well, then we have a name for where that water is. Easy one is a river, <laughs> a river, uh, a lake, the sea, an ocean. We don't even need to count the water then because we know what we are talking about. We know these are different sizes of water on the ground. But this is how we can count water that we drink. A bottle of water, a glass of water, a jug of water. OK. OK, now I've put two here because they are kind of the same, although they do not taste the same. One is salt and one is sugar. Now they are what we call granules, tiny little squares of food. Salt, we can say, comes in 
a shaker. This is a shaker, a salt shaker. Now we can count it. One salt shaker, two salt shakers. Sugar comes in a cube, a cube. Now we can count sugar. You can even do it in this picture. How many sugar cubes are there? I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can see 21 sugar cubes there. Now I can count sugar. And we can count salt and sugar the same way using a jar or a bag. A jar of salt, a jar of sugar, a bag of salt, a bag of sugar five bags of sugar, 10 jars of salt. Now we can count them. Oh, wool. Now we are not looking at the sheep. We can count sheep. Okay, we are looking at what is growing on the sheep. Wool. You cannot count wool. One wool. No, you can't do it. So how do we do this? Well, first, the wool needs to be taken off the sheep <laughs> by the farmer and then you can have a ball of wool a ball of wool you can have a bobbin of wool a bobbin and you can have a spool now we can count them 10 balls of wool three bobbins of wool a spool of wool these are things we can count we can now count wool but we must say what it is on, a bobbin, where it is in, a spool, or what it looks like, a ball. OK, now we can count it. OK, can you think of other uncountable nouns and how we talk about them so that we can count them? Here are some pictures of uncountable nouns for you to think about. Can you think about or do you know how we count these? What do they come in or how do we cut them up into pieces so that we can count them? We have oil. What is what is that green thing that the oil is in? That's something to think about. We have coffee. What is the coffee in in this picture? We have tea. The same. What is the tea in? We have hair. Now, hair, you cannot count when we are talking about all of the hair on your head. Yes, you can count one hair if you pull it out of your head, but we are talking about all of the hair. You cannot count it. Hmm, how do we talk about hair? Something for you to think about. Maybe go and look it up on the Internet. And the last one, electricity. Bzz. You cannot count electricity. So what words do we use or how do we cut up what makes electricity so that we can count how we actually we how we measure electricity? Um, it's not easy to explain and I don't want you to worry about it now, but I just thought I'd put it in in case you wanted to go away and find out how we can count electricity. OK, and that's all I want to say about uncountable nouns. I hope you understand. Let's carry on. OK, here is your homework. This is workbook page 25. So you need to look at part C, read and circle. And part D, look and write. You will need your workbook for this. So part D is look and write. You will need a pencil and an eraser. So now we will just take a look at part C and then a look at part D and I will tell you what you need to do. Okay, here is page 25 in your workbook, part C. Read the sentences A and B. They are here. Here's A for number one. This is A. He has some mushrooms. Look at the pictures. Here is the picture for number one. Circle the word true or false. So what is true? True. Jing. False. My Jing. You must look at the pictures and answer if the sentence is true or false. So you need to know he and she because one is for looking at the boy and one is for looking at the girl. 
So look at the pictures, read the sentence, and then circle with your pencil true or false. True, Jing, false, my Jing. Okay, that's part C. Okay, here is workbook page 25, part D. Part D is look and write. Look at the picture of the market. Here is the market. Look at the food the people have. Use he or she to ask the question, what does he or what does she have? So you need to look at the people. Is it a man? Is it a lady? Is it a boy? Is it a girl? There are four. You can see that one, two, three, four. There are four questions and answers. Here is the question. So number one has been done. Number one, Ria Broy, what does she have? And if we look at the picture, we can see there are lemons. So the answer is she has some lemons. Answer with he or she has some. So you need to look at the people and look at the food they have. Ask the question, what does he have? What does she have? And then answer, he has some or she has some. And then the name of the food. OK. That's it. That's the end of the lesson. So you have a homework today. That's page number 25 in your workbook. Do the work. Take a picture or scan. Upload it to the Patai Udon Suksa e-learning platform for grade three ILP homework. Then I will see it and I will check it. You have seven days from when the YouTube video for this lesson goes onto YouTube, onto the Patai Udom Suksa YouTube. You have seven days from that day. OK, not seven days from when you watch this video. I don't know what day you're going to watch this video. You have seven days from when this video is uploaded to the Patai Udom Suksa YouTube channel. If it is eight days, your homework comes eight days, nine days, 10 days, 20 days. I will write it as late. It will be on the e-learning platform in the notes. I will put late submission. It means it is late. Maasai, and I will not change it. So you have seven days from the date that the YouTube channel puts this up. OK, just to make that very clear. That's it. Keep, keep practicing your countable nouns, your uncountable nouns. Maybe go away and find some more uncountable nouns and find the things that we keep them in so that we can count them like we looked at today. Do your homework and I will see you next class. OK, see you next class. Bye.